In today's video, we attempt to prove that old gold is better than new gold. What's up guys, we're back with another gold opening, which I know you guys love these gold openings and I enjoy doing them. So we're gonna find out today if old gold is in fact better than new gold. We've tested this theory many, many times. Go check out the gold series opening playlist. I've opened every gold series. I've done some verses, new versus old, old versus new, all that different stuff. And uh, if you haven't seen those, you wanna go check those out. But in this one, we're gonna be opening 20 packs of maximum gold Eldorado. This is our new gold, but uh, this is an entire display, but they're open, they're, you know, loose packs. But then we have a sealed premium gold infinite gold this is a european box that i actually got from a guy in europe before we actually get into it we have a giveaway i'll be giving away these three cards we have tobias united dragon we have master of chaos and a guardian chimera secret rare just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know down below which will win new or old and which do you prefer a lot of you guys like old but some of you guys are new fans all right so how we're gonna do this is we are gonna total up both of the total pulls out of both of these so it'll be like maximum gold we'll have a total like normal and premium gold will have a total but the difference is these cards cost different amounts for like a display of this versus a display of this. So we are going to have the total out of the cost and then we're going to do a little math at the end to see which one won. That way it doesn't give an unfair advantage to the old gold by being more expensive to buy but then you of course pull more value because you know obviously it's an older more expensive product. So let's hop right into it and we're going to start off with a pack of maximum gold El Dorado. So let's see what can win new versus old. I think with this little wrinkle of how we're counting the score and like value I think the new has a better chance. IP Mask Arena, and it is starting off hot. All right, what a pull. Also, there's another gold. Okay, a gold Book of Moon. Not that crazy, but hey. IP Masquerade alternate art. That's about as good of a pull as you're going to get besides the access code talker. So great start for the new gold. All right, we're going to do like one mini box at a time. So that should be four packs here. Like we're pretending like it is a mini box because they are, these are, of course, loose packs. But oh, a Preta Plant, Verte, Anaconda. That's a nice one, but of course, banned. So not that great in terms of value. Scrap Dragon. We, of course, only count everything over a dollar. I think Raigeki could be getting there at some point. I don't know if that's a dollar at at this point because gold you know with the new gold doesn't really hold value that well because it's really new so a lot of new stuff you know obviously it's got like a recent recent print so they're kind of everywhere for a while and then they slowly fade and become a lot more hard to find so scrap wyvern and we have prank kids Preta Plan Verte Anaconda would have been great when it came out. Okay, we have Cybers and a Soul Eating Over Raptor, another card that I really love because the Dino deck is awesome. But uh, yeah, one good pull out of the first few packs. One more pack of El Dorado, then we're going into our first pack of Premium Gold. Let's go. And by the way, you can get Max C on a Premium Gold, so more banned cards. Urgent Schedule, we have Scrap Dragon. We're about to get back to back golds here. We got Plasma another book of moon so uh some books are being found okay so it looks like ip masquerade is going to be most of the value there yeah we'll see what premium gold and infinite gold can do infinite gold i can't say that's a lot of words okay the interesting thing about the european ones is look at this there's a there's like a giant hole in the wrapping so you don't even like need a knife or anything you can just kind of pull it apart like this so shout out to the guy who sold me this uh, i can't remember his instagram name off the top of my head i'm gonna try to have it pop up if i can find the conversation if i can't thanks to you man either way i appreciate it pretty cool item and uh it's it's different with the european ones as you can see these are a lot smaller than the u.s versions which we have opened in the every gold opening so pretty cool to see these like really mini ones i, I kind of like the size it's, they're a little bit too big in the US. All right, this cute little premium gold infinite. Oh, it's so adorable. Okay, first edition, by the way. So uh, I think the cost of this was something like $175, maybe. I will have the exact cost of what I paid up there. But it, was a, it wasn't as expensive as I thought it might be. So when he offered it to me, I was like, that actually sounds like a good deal. I'll grab that. Okay, and if you guys want to see more gold openings, let me know because we, of course, have done many of them. I think I'd done like 18 gold videos or at least videos with the word gold in the title before. So I, when I was checking up on this, so not that many, actually, for how many videos we've done. We've got a Burning Abyss card. A guy, 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 cowboy. Do they have secrets in here? Gold secrets? I can't remember. Oh, yep, they do. We have King's Consonants and a Fire Hand. This is actually a pretty fun card for like casual. By fun, I mean really hard to beat in casual, but it's pretty good. All right, I'm sure some of those are worth a couple of bucks. We'll be going through attempting to price them, but like with these older gold sets, a lot of cards are over a dollar because like, you know, they're nice rarities. They're like probably a first, the lost, like maybe the last reprint in a long time. I can't speak. We got Paladin. We got the Phantom Knight of Tomb. There's a Maxi in here. We want to pull that. Cosmo Goodwitch. I think this is a pretty decent one. Cosmos you know, based on the old Star Wars stuff. That's pretty awesome. These cards feel a little bit like bendy for some reason. I don't know. They're, they're like the structural integrity feels a little bit weak on these. We have the Monarch Stormforth. It's kind of weird. They're like, yeah, they're kind of flim like flimsy, flexible. 
We have a Red Eyes Flare Metal. I know this one's pretty decent. That's a good card. A, ooh, Stardust Charge Warrior. That's another solid uh, Gold Seeker Rare. And a Black Horn of Heaven Gold Seeker Rare. So I know we got some value there. Here's the score at the moment. But of course, you got to keep in, keep in mind, we're going to be, you know, dividing it by the total cost. So we'll see what has the best percentage at the end. So if you did notice there, there's only three packs inside of Maximum Gold Infinite. Infinite Gold, right? Premium Gold Infinite, not Maximum Gold. Yeah, and there's four in Maximum Gold. So it's a little bit different there. We have a Prank Kids Place. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Alternate Art. That's pretty cool weather washer and we have the fanzies all right one pack down for this uh mini box that we are pretending is a mini box let's see if we can get that access code dog i don't think i've pulled that since the set came out like literally i bring it up every time and never get it there's a patch of cephalo for those edison decks we've got a scrap dragon a cyrus gadget and a red eyes black dragon alternate art probably my favorite card in the set i know that's worth at least a couple of bucks it's not worth a lot but it is worth a couple of bucks this art is so good it's so good i love it so far we got an ip masquerade alternate art and a red eyes black dragon alternate art that is pretty solid let's see if we can continue that it's really hard to read these gold names i like the silvers better we got danger nessie we've got nessie could be decent i don't know Ragecki again that's two of those and then a Haquero. i don't know if there's any like gold letter rares that are worth anything in here i doubt it but maybe there is all right one more pack and then we are back to Premium gold, infinite gold. We have Ultra Guys Multifigure, Protoplan Verite Anaconda. I was looking and apparently we've never opened a display of infinite gold. So at least I don't think so. So like, that's kind of cool. We have a Gamma. That's definitely a couple bucks. And then a Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. So honestly, I feel like new gold is winning right now. All right, infinite gold time. Will they be able to make the comeback? Get the max C. That'd be pretty sick if we got a max C. I think it's the most expensive card based on TCG player. So if we were able to get that, that would be pretty awesome. And uh, obviously would change the battle here. Okay, three packs of infinite gold. Our second mini box. Will there be a max C inside? We have a Volcanosaurus. Very nice. Emergency Teleport. That's probably a decent card as well we've got the traveler of the burning and the burning abyss i should say we got phantom knights secret gold traps just don't really you know not that exciting we have a cosmo dark destroyer that's a man look how shiny this card is i know some people hate this because it's way too shiny let me know your opinion of it but honestly i think this is pretty awesome We're pretty close to a starlight rare like if it just went all the way you know it'd be like a foil bleed secret but it'd still be pretty nice all right next pack that was a very sick looking card let's see if we can get some more awesome cards inside like a maxi we have evil swarm ouroboros a reasoning another nice card we got the terminus junk changer and a cosmo forerunner a lot of cosmo cards in here it's the uh cosmo and the burning abyss set basically uh premium gold infinite gold so it's got to be one of farfa's favorite sets what will we get in this next one constellar told me we got chimera tech fortress that's time for, for some medicine stuff man i'm really struggling today giant hand also probably a good print the number 84 pain gainer that is a thick spider look, I mean, look at those legs that's insane and then avoid trap hole for trap trick decks out there all right all right this might be like somewhat of a longer video i mean like i feel like you know we're only two fifths of the way through and uh not going that fast it seems like another masquerade alternate art man this is good news for the uh for the new gold i don't think they've ever won before so changing the rules a little bit to make it more fair for the new gold might actually pay off for them good looking stuff here we go we have Golden Land. We have Eva. We have Red Eyes Darkness Metal. That's a good card. We have the Eldlixer of Scarlet. We have the uh, Zafraxi and Cursed Eldland for all of those Eldlish players out there. Two more packs in this third mini box. Will we pull something crazy like the Access Code Talker, Lost World for Dinos, Black Dragon, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend? We got Baby. Where are the golds? We have Numeron Storm. Okay, weird. They're back to back. Magical Dimension. Okay, that is not a great one. Win the Wind Charmer. This is not the Starlight Rare version. Just saying. One more pack. And then we go back to Infinite Gold. Okay, not. Okay, they did get IP Masquerade, so it's still not a bad mini box so far. Prank gets Bow Wow. We got the Calling. We got. Ooh, a Gamma. Man, so many good pulls. I feel like New Gold is doing really well right now. But the plus side of Premium Gold is they probably have a lot more value card. Like, they're not. They're going to pull like multiple in one pack versus in Gold. You know, you could pull two, I guess, in Maximum Gold. Why is this so hard to open? This is insane. Okay, I got it. I didn't. Also, didn't paper cut myself. That's good. All right, we got these open. They are not easy, but we did open them. Now we are on to the third infinite gold. It's looking good for the young gold. Oh, we've got the uh, Black Rose Dragon. That looks amazing. Dark Mirror Force. We've got Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. So, like, like this has like the shiny name. Does this have the shiny name? Oh, yeah, it does. I just couldn't tell. 
We have Frost Blast of the Monarchs and an Ice Hands. We got Fire and Ice Hands, so I think it's Thunder Hands, the other one. Two packs to go. What will we get? Will we get something out? But we have the, uh, what is this? The Blasting Draco Slayer. We got the Fairy Wind. Scar, Metal Branch of the Burning Abyss. That's a good card. Number 37, this was in a Duel Link's Water deck for a while. Cosmo Light Sword, so... Okay, Skarm's a good card. One more pack before we go back to Eldorado. Let's see, can we get that Max C? We have Arcanine Magician, that's not bad. Radiant Mirror Force. We got it, the Max C! It's not even a secret rare, it's just the regular gold rare. Max C has been pulled, best card in the set. Then we have a Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. That's a great card. And a Void Trap Hole. So, wow, that was a pretty good pack. Those are both really good. Before that reprint, in, was it Ghost from the Past? I think Ghost from the Past 2. That's pretty crazy. All right, Old Gold making a move now. That was a very solid last pack right there. Let's see. I mean, not the last last pack, but last of that mini box. We got Lambda. Okay, I, I tried to go for Sci Frame Lord Lambda, and I just I couldn't say all of it. I just quit. We have Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Bane. Come on, we need that access code. Whoa, this one looks like it got cut open or something like that at some point. Maybe when I was opening the mini box at some point, whenever I did that. Fossil Dino Patch, Cephalo, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, the Code Talker, the Familiar Possessed, Lena, and Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Bane. Two more packs in this mini box. Our second to last mini box of El Dorado. This has been an intense battle. We got Numeron. We need that access code Rux and Special right to the Plasma Alternate Art, which is not that expensive, I don't think. Okay, we need something out of here. Let's go. Will the access code be inside? Lost World. We got Black Dragon. Asa. Number C1000. We've got a number IC1000. I think it says IC1000, right? I don't know how to say that, but that was not a good mini box. Definitely their worst yet. Premium gold. They smell blood. They know they have a chance to come back right here. Let's see if we can pull another maxi. Playset, anybody? I don't know. Maybe we should hold on to that maxi to when it gets unbanned, you know? Anybody excited for the unbanning of maxi? Let me know in the comments. All right. Premium gold, infinite gold. What will we pull? We have, oh, we got a pendulum card. We got storming mirror force we got the rubik phantom knight of tomb shield and a cosmo farm i'm telling you these cards feel like i feel like i could just bend them in half really easily which i mean i, I can bend any card in half really easily i'm just pretty strong i'm not gonna lie i've got some serious muscles i can bend Yu-Gi-Oh cards in half we got mistake we have seer we have junk karibo that's a sick looking karibo all right Another Void Trap hole. That's like the third or fourth one. Come on, Infinite Gold. Our second to last mini box here. Old Gold needs some juice. We've got number 11, Big Eye. Not a bad card. Breakthrough Skill. Not a bad card. We've got Graph, Red Supremacy, and a Horn of Heaven. Secret Gold Rare. That was not a good mini box. Our final mini box of Maximum Gold Eldorado. The fourth was kind of a dud for both sides. So maybe that'll even out. We'll see who's going to win this. I don't really know at this point after the Max C. It's been interesting. Conquistador. And then we have Familiar Possessed Lina. That is not really going to help too much. Three packs left. And then it's going to come down to the old gold. Will the old be better than the new this time with the new scoring system? Oh, Rux and Special. That's a playset of Gamma. This has been an insane opening. Oh, Rescue Cat. Also a good one. All right. Not bad for new gold. Two packs to go. A playset of Gamma is not bad. Problem is, have we pulled a driver? I'm sure we have. It's just a gold rare, but... I don't know if I've noticed one. We have Super Express Bullet Train. We have Black Rose Dragon Alternate Art. Nice. And then a Tempest Dragon Rule of Storms. I have a PSA 10 of that now. If you have checked out my PSA video, you know that. Go see it if you didn't. And our final pack before we get into the final mini box of Premium Gold. Here we go. Trishula. Nice. Prank Kids. Super Ever Dreadnought Rail Cannon. And a Chamber Dragon Maid could be worth something. Maybe those Chamber Dragon Maid fans will have to find out. But on to Old Gold in this out. The final chance of Old Gold. Premium Gold, Infinite Gold. And this is sort of middle gold. I know it's not like the oldest gold, but it's still pretty old. I mean, it's like, what, 2014, 13, 15, somewhere in that range. It's pretty old. Okay, it's definitely not 13 because I think like the Burning Abyss came out like what, 2015 and Secrets of Eternity. So it's got to be 2016 probably is when it came out. Okay, seven years ago, by the way. Keep that in mind. We're old. Luster Pendulum, we have Reasoning. Let's see if we can pull another Maxi. We got Skarm, Stardust Charge. That's a big one. And then a Black Horn of Heaven again. So we have pulled some of the good cards out of here. I mean, a lot of them, actually. So I think that Old Gold might have a chance. We'll have to see how it works out with their 
total cost, you know. We have Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. That's good. Another Maxi! Oh, gold might pull it off again. Are we going to get a play set? It would be insane. We have a Magical King Moonstar and a Cosmo Dogfighter. Okay. Double Maxi. I'm feeling good about old gold now. We'll just have to see how it, you know, plays against their cost. Final pack opening. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more gold openings and other random openings for Yu-Gi-Oh! And, of course, other Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. Here we go. We have Blazing Mirror Force. Come on. Let's pull something crazy. Secret Rare Junk Charger. Final card. Here we go. It's a treacherous trap hole. Not actually not a bad card for, uh, you know, trap tricks, which is still pretty popular right now. Here's the scores. And here is how they went. You know, the total percentage that we got back of their cost. That'll tell you the winner. I don't know it right now because, you know, it's got to be edited. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutster, Supreme Stage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McClain. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.